All right, so let's begin finding the Shape Builder tool in our tools bar. You can go right over here and select the icon that looks like two circles and an arrow on it. You can also use the shortcut Shift plus M to activate it. To begin, I will show you the different modes the Shape Builder has to offer. Firstly, we have the merge mode. For example, in my practice file, which you can download if you are a member of the channel, I have these two shapes placed one on top of the other. I will select them both, and it's important that you select all the shapes affected before activating the Shape Builder tool, so make sure to remember that. With my cursor, you will see that the shapes are individually shaded in gray. If you click and drag over all these shapes, you will see that the shapes will then be merged together, thus giving us one final shape. The extraction mode allows you to extract any section of multiple overlap shapes. Here is a quick example. Select all shapes affected and activate the Shape Builder tool. As you can see, once again, the shapes will be highlighted in gray. I like to extract the middle portion, which kind of looks like a leaf. So for that, you can just click in the middle once. Now with the selection tool, you can click and drag out our new leaf shape. And you will see that we are left with two half moon shapes. Next up, I will show you how to erase or delete shapes using the Shape Builder. Select them and activate the Shape Builder. Hold the Option or Alt key on your keyboard and you will see a small minus symbol next to your cursor. This means that whichever section we select, it will delete the shape. Finally, let me show you one of my favorite things you can do with the Shape Builder tool. As you know, I love creating artworks with inking being heavily involved. Sometimes lines will overlap and I like to clean them up. Many tutorials cover how to use a Shape Builder tool with actual shapes, but you can also use it with strokes, and let me show you a quick example. As you can see here, we have strokes overlapping each other on this hot dog icon that I drew. Let's select all and activate the Shape Builder tool. As you hover over the strokes with the Option or Alt key on your keyboard, you will see the strokes turn red. This means that when you click on it, it will get deleted. Let's just carefully click on these lines and you will see that the line art will be cleaned up and ready for coloring. And there you have it everyone, you just learned the Shape Builder tool in less than 10 minutes. If you enjoyed this type of content and you wish to see more videos like these in the future, please leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment sections what tool I should cover next. Have a great day everyone, and cheers!